Hey you guys, welcome to part two of a series I'm doing on the release of the digital formats of my book companion journals and my super manifesting journal. So if you missed part one, I will link it in the description box below for you guys to check out. This video is going to be part two, which is the tutorial on how to use my book companion journal, the non-fiction edition. The first video was my book companion journal, the regular fiction edition. So if you missed that, make sure you go check it out. But I also, before we jump into the tutorial, I want to remind you of a sale that I am holding this Thanksgiving weekend from November 25th through the 28th. And it is a huge sale. Each journal is going to be available for only $10 each. And if you get all three journals, you can get them for $25. As you know, these journals, the paperbacks normally go for $20, well, $19.99, $19.99, and $40. So this is a huge sale that I am holding for everyone who loves these journals. If you do not have them yet, this is your chance to get them in digital format. But if you are watching this past the 28th, I'm sorry, the sale is over. So they are still available on the website. You can still get them, but not for the price that I'm offering during Black Friday weekend. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial, which is the My Book Companion Journal Nonfiction Edition. All right, guys, so the first thing that's gonna happen is you're going to receive an email from me. If you buy all three journals, this is the way it's gonna look. If you only buy one, then you'll only have one here. Let's work on nonfiction, my book companion journal. What I did wanna say if you missed the first video is that you will need an app to work within your iPad or whatever um, digital item you have. I have an iPad and the app that I use is GoodNotes because if you if it's only a PDF, you are not gonna be able to maneuver it. You can buy it and download it and print it and do all the things, but you're not gonna be able to mess with it within the program unless you have an app. So let's go ahead and do what you would do if you received this email from me. You will click on this. You will then say, it says congratulations. You will click on the photo and to open it in your digital app, you would hit the icon above. You would scroll down. Mine, like I said, it's open in GoodNotes. I have several open already, so I'm going to import as a new document. Import. And then we are going to start working with it. This is the way it's gonna look when you get it. If you hit the icon above, like I said before, Good Notes is only like $9.99, I think, so it was well worth it. I love this app. I've been painting in this app. I've been doing so many things. I just absolutely love it. So. You hit that icon above and then you have a big view of all the documents inside the file. And what you can do now is you can start working within it and you have no idea how much you're going to love this. If you work, if this is the first time you've worked with a digital product, you are going to love it. So let's go ahead and go on the first page and it's going to say memory journal four and you're going to Click on this little icon right here, which is the writing pen. You can change it to whatever color you want. Let's just make it pink just for fun. And I am not an expert on good on good notes. I am not an expert at digital products. This is my first round at it, um, or go at it, I should say, but I'm really enjoying it. And you probably, if you are familiar with good notes, you probably know a million more things that you could do with this than I do. But this is just the basics, especially if you're new at it like me. Don't be afraid, it's super easy to use. So here's the icon if you want to write. Here's the icon if you want to type. So we are going to write this book like I did before. We're going to use the book that I wrote recently. So we're just gonna use that as a dummy or as a test. And you're going to write your name. Look how easy. I love the way the pen feels on this screen. I don't know what it is, but I don't lose the connection that I normally have with my paperback that I know I love writing on journals and just that feel. I totally love it and I don't miss it out when I'm doing here. Next, if you want to go to another page and that's the beauty of it, you can skip around. You don't have to do it in order, but let's just pretend we are doing it in order. We're going to preparing for mindful writing. 
Also, I want to mention you can scroll if you want. You can make it bigger if you want. Super fun. So preparing for mindful writing. Isn't this beautiful? I love this image. And it says, let go of the old and embrace the new. This is all about getting your mind in the right space. So I have some prompts here that you're going to go through. What limiting beliefs do I need to release? Maybe yours is something like mine, which says, I need to release that I'm not good enough, right? And the reason for this, these prompts, the reason I inserted this preparing for mindful writing, because once you get in the right state of mind, once you start realizing how great you actually are, how mindful you can be about yourself, you are now ready to write your best book, but you have to get in the right space first. So that's what the intention is with this section. So you can go through the prompts. Like I say, you can write, you can type, you could do whatever you want. You can erase, which is, you know, lovely because obviously, obvious reasons so let's see what other pages they are there's that page let's say you want to like I said in the last tutorial if you didn't see it go back and watch it one of my favorite favorite oh let's see one of my favorite parts about the journals are the parts where I get to document with photos so I don't miss out on that at all. So what I have to do here is, let's see if I find my page again. I go here to get my photos. And let's say I want to document my journey of releasing this digital format. I can put the picture here as big as I want. I can make it a small. I can move it around. If I want to add another picture, I can go ahead and do that. Make it like this. Turn it around. Put it here. Do whatever you want. It is yours to mess with. And it's just, and you can write on it. And like I said, if you are familiar with good notes you might know how to I even add stickers i think you can add stickers through here can't you i think so let's see yeah make art you can actually select i think there's a way of selecting different ones but see so i mean you could just play around with it you can write so released digital Form, forgive my writing. I'm just writing really fast. 11, 25, 21. And as you could just make it your own. So let's see another page that you want to do. Like I showed on my first video, you can select coloring pages that will just help you relax and just know that you've got this, that you don't have to stress about your work. You could just relax and color. I don't know what it is. Like I mentioned in my last video, there's something about coloring that just really helps me relax. And it really, and I really enjoy it with the digital aspect of it. Normally with crayons and stuff like that or markers, I get really tired my hand starts hurting but here it just it's so smooth that i just oh it's so relaxing you guys i really enjoy it so as you can see you don't miss anything out by having the digital versus the paper i encourage you to give it a shot if you've never done it before like this is my first go at a digital product and I am really, really enjoying it. So again, you can make it big, you can make it small, you can swipe, you can go here and look at whatever page you wanna go to it. You can skip around, you could just do whatever. There's a word count, that monthly, monthly tracker that you can use. There's different monthly trackers you can use. There's creating triggers. There's like a ton of different prompts that will help you write the best book 
of your life. So that is it for this tutorial. The next one is going to be on the Super Manifesting Journal. Make sure you click on over there to watch it. And if you missed the first one, which was the Book Companion Journal Fiction Edition, make sure you go back and check that out. And that is it. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Remember to hit like and remember to share it with all your writerly friends so they don't miss out on this incredible deal. And I'll see you in a minute on another video with the Super Manifesting Journal.